are here as a part of God's plan. His spirit moved each of you to sign up for this retreat. Hi, Alice, right? Yeah. Welcome. It's okay if you think things are totally weird. <laughs> I'm gonna need your cell phone and watch. You won't be needing a watch this weekend anyway because you're on Jesus's time. <laughs> See ya. Everybody say Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. A video button there. Ooh, right, right, On the right. bottom left. Okay, wait. Here you go. Look at this. We're all together finally. <laughs> Hi, Natalia. Hi, Karen. Greetings from Las Vegas. Side hug to both of you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> and you, of course. You know, it's funny. I grew up Protestant, and this movie brought back memories of snow camp and retreats and all of that. I mean, I can't tell you the memories that came flooding back after watching your film. And I just thank God the day I met Christopher Hitchens, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Karen, uh, I'll start with you. Uh, I never thought of myself as a microwave oven until now. I know, right? I don't know where that came from. That That's ripped from the pages of my past. I was literally told that in a sex education class that was taught by a deacon at my Catholic high school. And I think we were all just as perplexed as hopefully the viewers are. Um, but hopefully the viewers also find it funny, which most of us didn't at the time because we had no idea what it meant. <laughs> and Natalia, it, this movie shows what, especially for Alice, what gossip and rumors can do and the harm they bring. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I think that was, you know, really, um, you know, sort of visceral, you know, because it is, those, those teenage high school years are gonna be so, hard you know and it just and it was kind of reading it was such a such a reminder of that mindset of what what it's like and and how important it is to fit in and those weird things that happen and and the way that rumors happen and the way that they stick and they're hard to get rid of and just kind of how unnecessarily like cruel people can be in order to like you know fit in or like make a joke or uh, not you know think about how it affects that person um so yeah it was really I mean, it was, it was in general to go back to that mindset of being in, in high school was really like wow I'm glad. what i really yeah. admired about the movie is i have a, a colleague and a friend of mine uh, alicia malone and she wrote a book called the female gaze I know her i did a yeah. panel with alicia did you really that's and how I, yep so now when I watch movies, especially with yours, it was totally from a different perspective, which I found so refreshing because it was going in directions. I thought, oh, it's going to go this way, but I was looking at it through a male perspective. And I thought it was such a, a way, an inside world to the female experience of a coming of age, which I thought was really refreshing and a great point of view. Well, thank you. Yeah, I hope we get more of them. I mean, I was just writing what I know. Um, and thankfully, yeah, I mean, and not thankfully, but for me professionally, there's a gap somewhat in the market, uh, but that's not a good thing for society. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I wanted to just tell a story about, you know, what, what felt real to me and what it was like for me to come of age. And I think women are often discovering themselves before they discover um, partnered relationships. Um, and I wanted to show that. Um, and I think, yeah, people will connect to it because hopefully it's relatable. And I tell you, the hypocrisy of Alice's experiences was just driving me crazy because I experienced that when I was going to, you know, Sunday school and church and all that because just they call them super Christians. They do everything on Sunday and the rest of the week they just they do what they want. But she just kept experiencing all she was being indoctrinated, but then they didn't even believe what they were teaching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that it is kind of infuriating. I think that's the power of film is to kind of hold a mirror up to it and be like, isn't this infuriating? Um, yeah, I think it's, you know, I think especially for, for, for women, it's, you know, it's, it's been on one side. Um, and I mean, yeah, I, mean, I guess, you know, men, men, men too as well, but it's been very like, there's a very narrow space to just be your natural sexual self i think you either you know it's kind of like oh don't do that that's gross that's bad that's you know like that's a that's a bad woman and then there's like oh but the other side of it's like oh but be sexy for the men and be an object of desire and do that and like the space in between to just be like what makes me feel good what do i like is very very narrow and uh not not 
talked about so much. Um, so yeah, it is, it is, it, it is, it's funny. It is funny, but it is infuriating as well to just kind of watch it happen. Another great aspect of the movie is that your, your character is coming of age in the beginning of the digital age. Everyone remembers those old AOL and, and those chat rooms and everything. So I thought that was something I haven't thought about in years. Yeah, and uh, AOL and startup modems and all that stuff was such a big part of my coming of age and discovery and things. Like the internet was there, but it wasn't as vast as it is now. So you sort of had to like carve, like dig your way through it. It wasn't just like boop, boop, boop. And then mm -hmm. it was much more, I don't know, closed off at that point. And finally today, you know, Chris Columbus, executive producer of the film, and I love how you put Home Alone VHS at the end of the movie when she was watching Titanic, you know? Home Alone 2, yeah. Yeah, was that Home Alone 2? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Home Alone 2. Which is awesome, Chris Columbus, it's so serious? it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was a nice little nod in there. I don't know if anyone else got that, so. Yeah, a little Easter egg. Yeah, he's, he knows it's in there. He's odd. And real quick, finally today, Natalia, you remind me of Reese Witherspoon when she started her career too, because that, you have that Southern charm. And so all through Yes, God, Yes, I'm like, gosh, she just reminds me of Reese. That's a compliment, by the way. Very kind. That's very kind of you. She's, yeah, I think she's from my, around my parts. So, uh, yeah, very funny. Yeah, I've, I've always kind of looked to her in, in her career in a way. Not, I mean, not like intentionally like wanting to you know like emulate everything but i but i have like I, I like her choices i like what she does i like what she's doing now um so that's very that's a very high compliment thank you well karen and talia i love this film immensely thank you so much i wish you all the best of luck with it and uh when you have a chance come visit us in las vegas we'd love to have you yeah never me been me either <laughs> all right when you get there, i'll give you a chance. Thank you so much thank you so and good luck with the film Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.